Kayaking in Antarctica with Limblad Expeditions National Geographic is an incredibly rewarding experience. It's amazing what you can see and hear when you're right at sea level in a kayak. When you're kayaking in Antarctica, you can have many amazing sights and sounds. There's often penguins swimming around you. You can hear them calling. We're often surrounded by ice and seals, and sometimes, when we're very lucky, you can see whales. Hi, I'm Mike Jackson and I'm expedition leader on board National Geographic Explorer with Limblad Expeditions National Geographic and we are here in Antarctica. On every Antarctic voyage we aim to offer kayaking to our guests but to make that a reality it takes some pretty careful planning. Before we can start a kayaking operation we have to look at a variety of different factors. Probably the most important of that is the sea conditions and the winds. We want areas with light winds because those will generally have calm seas. Once the bridge and expedition teams have determined that kayaking is a probability, we will announce it during recap, and then typically the next morning, we will have a kayak briefing where we tell everybody what they need to know to be able to have a safe kayaking operation. As long as you're waterproof on the outside, occasionally it's raining, snowing, and then there can be splash from paddles. So we just want you to stay nice and warm. It's important to be prepared. And probably the most important question is, what do I wear? When you're kayaking, you want to wear the same equipment that you would wear going ashore. You're gonna have layers and good waterproof clothing. On your feet, you'll want to wear your muck boots because you will be stepping in and out of the water to get in and out of the kayak. Our kayak operation is a very safe one. You need no experience. We have many of our guests have never kayaked before. It's their first experience and they love it. We have a kayak platform set up beside the ship. This is a steel platform that is sloped and is suspended between two zodiacs. When you're getting in and out of the kayaks, we ask that you come down to the zodiac and we give a final short briefing, which often sets the areas that we'll be kayaking in, and then in pairs we will get you into the zodiacs where you sit on the side of the zodiac and slide into the kayaks. We'll give you your paddles and away you go. All of our guests kayaking will wear a emergency position beacon. This will be activated either by the guest or by water. As well as that, we will have a, a number of zodiacs acting as safety zodiacs, and they will patrol the area looking for any potential dangers. Once you're on the water, try to be still and quiet and enjoy this very, very special experience. We hope you'll join us on board for a wonderful expedition. <laughs>